finished. Okay, look at uh, Zimbabwe today. There is no electricity because they don't have foreign exchange to pay for it. In-depth analysis based on recent occurrences and some other past events that has a connection to what we are looking at today in this video. Now let me tell all members of the community, you that is a Christian, you that is a believer, you that is that part of that ministry, what do you think? You that is a follower, what do you think? That's why. Do you understand what I'm trying to say even though I'm not saying it yet already? But this is something on a very big scale because it has to do with the country. Patni from Kenya, who is also part of that because he himself, <laughs> Patni himself is a pastor. And I was watching his videos because this is someone that crumbled Kenya's economy with Goldenberg and now has to be in Zimbabwe doing the exact same thing he was doing in Kenya. And you notice something in that documentary that even he himself, pastor or brother Paul, always kept talking about God bless you, I'm privileged by God and how he's a... But even in the midst of that, he's willing to clean this money not even caring about the people he's working with, but being willingly able, showing himself that he can do this based on his connections. And of course, remember what I always tell you people as a principle on this platform, relevance by association remains one key and they use that. You see, when I teach you people something, you have to understand that this is not just something I'm teaching you, but it's a principle in life. Brother Paul, let me play for you an interview where he was being asked about his corruption charges in Kenya and what he had to say in the interview where he was talking about, <laughs> I am saying the truth as a man of God. But he says, Patni, 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 who am I? I'm a human being. And, and, and let us, I'm, I'm not, because I have said this and very clearly, those who, of we who are redeemed and born again shall be bound by fear of nothing. Let me take you back. Money was lost. Where was it? Who was it lost to? Was it lost to individuals? Was it, was it lost to institutions? It was lost for the, the 92 election. Multi-party. It was used in the 92 elections. You know what elections. happened in multi-party? It was used in the 92 elections. In 92 elections and by the, the powers who were there at that time. What proof do you have of that? I have all the proof which I have given. I have given original documents. Did you of, 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 of the election did documents? You, did you support political activity with financing? Yes, I said that the, 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 the president that time asked for a loan for the election and it was there and I've, I've said How much it. did you give? But you see, the they, former president. I've said it was 4.2 billion for the election. You gave 4.2 billion shillings to Kanu? Yes, that time. Did you fund anyone else? Well, I have funded uh, like a normal uh, businessman, um, other parties, like uh, that time. Uh, How much did Fort you give Kenya, for Kenya? For Kenya was uh, only about 2 million. Two million. How yes. much did you give the Democratic Party? Uh, no, I did not. Did you give any to Ford Asili? Ford Asili, no. So what was deciding which party you are going to fund and which one you are not going to fund? It's the, it's the one who approaches it. Mr. Patney, you say you wanted to make Kenya a prosperous country. You wanted to make it the Switzerland of Africa. What went wrong? I wanted to make Kenya like most of this Dubai and uh, Hong Kong and all this country where there is no poverty. The what, poverty is minimal. Yes, what went wrong? You wanted to gather all the diamonds that are being smuggled in here and export them legally. What went wrong? Kenya is surrounded by mineral rich countries. That's true. And uh, the, this idea of uh, which was brought by Goldenberg was discussed from 1986 under that time uh, Oyugi was in OP. That time, uh, the, even the Honorable Nyanchai was the, 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 in the chief secretary. It was discussed by Treasury and, by, and many reports have been done on that. Then, when I moved to Nairobi is when I said that uh, this is the, 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 the business which can make Kenya independent of begging all the time for an exchange. Just, just tell us what went wrong. What went wrong is that a noble idea started by me started to see billions of shillings coming into the country, and then the eyes opened. And, and the, this is at that time the people, the, the, that time the government at that time, you know, usurped and dumped who all in, their messes who, on my, my government, golden bag. Who in government usurped your project? 
I have mentioned them. I said it starts from the, the, the leadership at that time, the governor who, of Central Bank. exactly? The leadership was about 200 people. The, the, exactly the, 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 the then President uh, Moy. President Moy, the then, governor. Then uh, Kule, Joshua Kule. President Moy is uh, personal assistant, yes. Yes, then the governor of Central Bank, Kotut. And, and uh, the, the, the people, those are the main, and of course there were others there. Did any of these people make money personally out of this scam? Yes, they made, uh, and I've given the proof. Okay. okay. Mr. Patney, very, very clear. You, you forced the country to abandon a scheme of encouraging Kenyans to export. How do you feel about that? Do you feel any guilt? Well, this is what uh, the caller is saying and what you are saying. And what you two are saying is not the truth. You have no, no gospel you have, truth. You have no, I have, yes. You have no guilt. You have no remorse. No remorse because my conscience is clear. How can what your conscience I did, be clear when the entire scheme was abolished? Okay, look at uh, Zimbabwe today. There is no electricity because they don't have foreign exchange to pay for it. What I've done is I've saved this country. The, 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 the hardship they would have seen, they've, they've never seen. And one day, as we are sitting, in the near future, you will see they will need me again to, to, <laughs> to, to earn this country. Mr. Patney, you quote the Bible a lot, and yes. I'm going to quote it once to you. Please. There was one fellow called Zacchaeus, yes. terrible tax collector, Correct. thief. Yes. When he repented, yes. And decided to follow Jesus. Yes. He gave up all his wealth and said, I got this illegally and I'm giving it back. Yes. Where's your gesture? Where is your gesture of honesty? My gesture of honesty is that <laughs> Zacchaeus, he, I've written this letter to the treasury. I've said, we sit down. And you, yes. You see what is happening now is there is... In that letter, Mr. Patney, in that letter you have offered to yes, pay the treasury correct. 800 million shillings. The, the balance is, yes, correct. 800 million shillings. Treasury... Yes. Is saying they lost 20 million shillings. But it's a then, drop in the water. If they lost that, let us see the facts. What do you think what do you think will ultimately come out at the end of this investigation? When I went to the commission, I said that the, it is the truth which shall set you free. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Now I'm saying, if the, if the sun shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. What will come out is what the will of God says. You see, and that is also a good way for them to get to hide their identity and present their innocence because they bring in the God factor. And when the God factor comes in and you being a man of God, everyone sees you as a saint. But one day, my brother, my sister, one had them real to the core. Call the call the candy candy. One no draw hold the no a who may call the one I won't know what I can do now. So based on this now, they are beginning to understand that when I say sometimes, Christianity sometimes, it looks as if it's a joke. I'm not just talking about them, I'm, I'm talking about you also watching me now. Because when it comes to this, it's not just about them being figureheads and doing what they do in the name of being prophet or whatever. This is a human situation. So when you get to look at these people as celestial beings, as if they are gods you have to worship, they are the ones frying your brain and you seeing them to be one kind of saint. A different thing entirely out of that pulpit you see there. So if you look at this retrospectively, you see that the principle of relevance by association, which I get to always mention here over time, this brother Paul himself used it when he was trying to show them, I've been with the president, been to 80 African countries, uh, I even crowned Gaddafi, king of kings showing the people his connections and how he can help them clean the money. When he came to the person of the diplomatic mafia himself, what did he do? Yeah, I am the ambassador at large. I can give you access to the president. I can call him right now and put him on loudspeaker. Yeah, because I'm here to sell the country. Uh, did you guys, how do you people hear that term, sell the country? You know, because if you're an ambassador for Jesus Christ, you presenting and being an ambassador for Christ doesn't mean you are selling Christ, even though in their mind, the Jesus brand is very popular, very interesting. That's how come there are wolves in sheep clothing. And Jesus would flog people away from his father's house because they are just there for, of course, the prophets claiming to be prophets. So when you look at that, it begins to make sense to you what is going on here. So the same way he sells his country as an ambassador, that's the same way he sells Jesus as an ambassador. <laughs> Are you getting the point now? But now, I'm not saying this that you guys should be like, oh, come on, that's so bad of him and all that. We are human beings for a start. 
But what I've been trying to make you understand over time as I make commentaries about these people, their scandals and all that, I don't believe as a person, please, hear me out, that these people are special beings. They are privileged to be in the office they are or they have made themselves. It's now left for you as a Christian to know if this person is a mis makes mistakes and is still in line with God or this person by default has always been a wolf in sheep clothing parading and standing his ground in the body of Christ. That is what you have to think about. That's why I don't, I'm not quick to say, ah, this person is just a false preacher or this and that and blah, blah. I don't, I'm not quick to say that because I believe there is room for, but when I be we seeing something like this, I don't know what you think yourself, but there's a lot more to talk about this because some things that came out of his mouth of which he never knew and ask yourself a question and swore you watching me right now before we start being you know i know because in the comments there's going to be some water water session there's going to be some gaslighting if you were you right now if there was a camera watching you right now for over a week of things you've been doing and no one is watching you would you look yourself or look at the mirror and say yes i've really been a christian in and out of public eye. Prophet Hubert Angel, if you're watching this video right now, or if you know of your followers or your minions who come in the comments to come and call me names, Antichrist and this and that, which I enjoy your engagement anyway, that's why you are here watching me. Can you tell your followers the truth? And you, the followers, can you tell yourself the truth that this is who your father really is? Because that is very important for you to know and understand that. So when you see the truth for what it is, say yes, of course. And you can put your order, prophet to birth angel in prayers because I don't see him changing at all. But it depends on you right now as a follower to have a change of mindset as to how we get to look at these people, think about them, and of course, your faith, very important. We're gonna look at a couple of things as well as we go on in this conversation because there are, some, there are some things I can't even imagine. Anyway, see you in the second part of this video because I have some things to really discuss about.